Yo, what is going on YouTube? Technically to you another Pixel 3 AXL video. And today we got to switch over to the case talk, man. So if you haven't been following the channel, you already know Google did send me out this and a few other items for free to review on the channel. So a huge shout out to Google for that. And they sent out this case. Now, when the I was really excited to get this case. I've been seeing their cases. I'm a fan of fabric style cases. I really like these this style. So when I put it on my phone, when I first unboxed it, I put it up there and initially doing the video, I didn't really show my emotions, but I didn't like it and I took it right off and it's been off ever since. Now, today I wanted to come back to it because I felt some people are praising this case like it's a good case to get and you can recommend it to people. But I'm telling you right now, I can't recommend any of my people. You know me. I care about you guys and where you spend your money at when it comes to a case. I can't recommend any of my people to go out there and spend 40 bucks on this case. So let me go ahead and get into it and tell you why. All right, so let's take a look at the case. Once again, fabric style case, and this is for the XL version. So with face value, you know we get that very nice fabric material. Love this material, very grippy. On the bottom down here, you do get a little Google logo. Flipping over on the inside, you get a very nice felt microfiber. I really love that because no phone should have a hard plastic back. That's how scratches develop. So good job on making this soft lining to, you know, to, to protect the back of that 3AXL. And you see you get the cutouts for your camera and the cutout for your fingerprint sensor. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let's pop the, the 3AXL and let's see how it looks. Now, let's go ahead and first start off with the buttons. Now, me, no beef with the buttons at all. The buttons are absolutely like a hundred percent perfect no issue whatsoever and actually i like how you can actually uh i thought you could turn the volume down when it was locked but you couldn't but i really like the feel of the buttons the buttons are a1 no issues whatsoever now taking a look at that lay on the table protection now even you know we got lay on table protection here we do have a little lip that goes around now not a hundred percent around it and that segues into my first beef with this case now talking about the top you got the ball D wide open. I mean, you have a little cutout for your 3.5, but that's it. In that case, stop. Don't really shave back on materials. Just go ahead and close this up. Let's protect the phone as much as possible and just put out a hole for the headphone jack. So that's strike number one for me. Same thing on the bottom. Your butt's out. The butt is completely out. So you got a cutout for the Type C and your speaker ports. Now, just go ahead and close this up and make the ports. Now, I'm not really too much beefing about this, even though I don't prefer this style. I know more cases have this, especially official manufacturer cases, but the baldy out, you got to go ahead and close that up. So that's my first beat. The top and bottom are wide open. In my opinion, they don't need to be 40 bucks. Give me full protection. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at how it fits on the phone. Now, the fit of it is OK. This is another gripe for 40 bucks. I got to keep I got to keep mentioning that, man, for 40 bucks. I feel like this isn't the best fitting case. I mean, yeah, it's on it. It's going to give you some protection, but it's real mushy when it comes to the fit. And even when you grip it in hand, it's kind of creaky. It creaks, even though I know that activates Google Assistant, all that, blah, blah, blah. But it feels creaky when you actually grab it. And that's one thing I cannot stand. And I know a few people who really like cases. They know what, what I mean. They know where I'm coming from when I say that, man. The case just feels like it's creaky. And it feels like the phone is moving around i can press it just like that and the phone is moving up and down in the case once again man like that isn't what i want that's not what i expect when we're talking about a 40 dollar case so the fit eh, not the best in my opinion it's not the best in my opinion now how does it feel in your hand it feels great the fabric material feels absolutely great i love the color of the power button very grippy no issues whatsoever absolutely love it not a bulky case keeps the phone very thin now i get what they're trying to do with the fabric case trust me i get it 100 percent. but take a look at incipio esquire series that's another case that's a fabric that's another one of my favorite cases and i'll pop a link up somewhere maybe for like a a past phone so you can get the idea of the of the quality that i'm that we're talking about that case is around that $40 range, maybe a little bit more expensive than that, maybe $30, $40 range. But you can tell a big difference in quality. There's a little thicker case when we're talking about, you know, the material that it's made out of. The top is closed, the bottom is closed, and it feels more durable. That's what I can expect from a fabric case. This does not feel like a $40 case. Now, I'm not ragging. I know some people think I might be ragging on Google. Yes, they sent me this product for free, but at the same time, 
I want to save you guys 40 bucks. I don't really want you to go out there and spend something that I personally wouldn't even use and I haven't been using it. I just put this case back on for the video. It's been sitting on my bookshelf. I've been running the phone absolutely naked, no issues whatsoever. Yes, protection is better than none. I should be using it, but you know how I feel about cases that's over 20, 25 bucks. When you know companies like Spigen, I went to their website, they already have a full lineup for it. Hopefully we'll be getting that in the house around next week. So you know I'm gonna do that case lineup review, but the thing about it is you're going to get a better quality case for half the price. So I really can't right now recommend you going out and spend 40 bucks on this case. I'm not sure how many manufacturers are actually coming up with cases. I haven't even got any emails about cases. So that's kind of telling you that not a lot of people probably might not be on board with this. But in my opinion right now, because you know I do case videos, I care about the cases that you guys buy. I really can't 100% recommend someone going out and spend 40 bucks on this. You know, it's a good design. But the fine tuning when it comes to the case, what makes the case really good with what I look at kind of fails a little bit in that department. So let me know what you think. If you have this case, content creators watching this video, I know you got the case. Let me know down below what you think about it and definitely hit that like button and definitely smash that subscribe button if you rock with your boy. But until next time, I'm out of here. Later.